Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A55 and today I will show you how you can enable and also set up your portable hotspot. So to get started, pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Now on one of the pages we should have our hotspot toggle visible, for me that is on the first page right over here, but if you don't see it on the same page you can swipe to the left and this will show you additional page. In any case, once you see this toggle, if you're doing this the first time around, you want to hold it. This will then quickly take you to the settings where you can number one, change the password because it is randomly generated and by default it's just absolute garbage. Once you remove it, it will give you a message that your password needs to have at least eight characters in length. That can be letters and numbers or just numbers or just letters, doesn't really matter. There we go. And there we can click on save. Uh, we also have a couple additional options like um, one-time password, auto hotspot, which I'm not sure what that is. Make sure this uh, phone's internet connection automatically with other devices that are signed in to the oh, to your Samsung account. That is actually a pretty neat option. So if you have multiple Samsung devices or multiple yeah, Samsung devices because you can't really sign in on your Windows with Samsung account, then you can utilize the hotspot basically painlessly without needing to do anything. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure most of the people will not be able to rely on this. Uh, so you'll need to rely on the password. Now, next thing is the name of your network that will be created. And by default, it's always the name of the device, which in this case is Galaxy A55. So that's the Wi-Fi that you will be looking for from the list. And the AP band right here, allows you to choose either the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz one. Um, I recommend keeping it as it is, if you don't know what this is, as keeping it at 2.4 will allow you to have more painless experience. So other devices that don't support the 5 gigahertz will still be able to utilize your hotspot once you enable it. But if, for instance, you were to change it to 5 gigahertz and your all the device that you will be connecting to this hotspot with does not support Wi-Fi uh, 5 gigahertz, it simply will not see your hotspot at all. So obviously that creates a little bit of a problem and that's why I recommend keeping it as it is, which just makes it much simpler. Anyway, from there you can select save, close this and then find the toggle once again and this time around simply click on it, turn off Wi-Fi. Now unfortunately on this device it's, uh, it's mid-range device that apparently decided to not include enough antennas so we need to turn off our uh, Wi-Fi in order to use a mobile hotspot so you can't have both enabled like on any other device that is at the same price range basically which is a bit of a bummer so once you enable your hotspot it automatically turns off your Wi-Fi and again once you're done with your hotspot and you turn it off it should there we go re-enable your Wi-Fi automatically but that is something that you might want to keep in mind as all the data will be going through your mobile data and not through Wi-Fi. So if you don't have a big enough plan to cover that up, you might want to well, put some uh, limits on it maybe. But in any case, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.